Hello everyone and welcome back to another math lesson with me, Miss Martins. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at the very basic introduction to trigonometry. So in this lesson, we'll be specifically looking at trig ratios and the reciprocals of trig ratios. I'm just going to show you how to write these trig ratios if I give you very basic triangles. We'll also discuss the difference between finding the value of a side, the length of a side, versus finding the value of an angle. But first, what is trigonometry? Trigonometry is the study of triangles in maths. We look at the ratios of their sides. It allows us to calculate the length of the sides, the size of the angles. Very, very cool things can be done with trigonometry. So I'm excited to introduce this topic to you and to explore these applications and these things in later videos. If you'd like to see more videos, remember to comment down below as the video goes along. Let me know what you'd like to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more maths and science videos and to give this video a thumbs up if it's one of your favorite sections of math or if it's a math section that you actually need help with. The first thing that I want to look at is triangles this basic 90 degree triangle. Now you need to understand at a grade 10 level, you will only be working in 90 degree triangles or right angle triangles or right triangles. You will not be expected to do trigonometry in any other triangle. So if the triangle doesn't have a 90 degree, you're not going to be able to touch that triangle or do anything with it in grade 10 at least. In grade 11 and grade 12, well, that's a different story. But let's just recap triangles in general. Remember, a right angle triangle obviously is called that because it has a right angle, a 90 degree angle. You should recall that we can uh, um, indicate that a triangle is a 90 degree, 90 degree triangle with this little box like that. And we also know that the side opposite a 90 degree angle or the side opposite that over there in the triangle, this side over here, this is called the hypotenuse. So AC is the hypotenuse of the triangle. It's a special name that we give to the length or the side of the triangle that is opposite the 90 degree angle. It is the longest side of the triangle. Okay. And that's because it will be opposite the biggest angle in the triangle. So it's called the hypotenuse. Then another concept or another term that I want to introduce to you, maybe you've heard it before, but just to recap, this angle over here, this is called theta, okay? If I ask you to look at the sides that surround theta, well, we know we have a triangle. Triangles have three sides. We've got AC, which is the hypotenuse. If you look at BC, okay, that is this side over here. I hope that you can see that that is opposite the theta. So if I ask you to write down the side of the triangle that is opposite theta, I hope that you tell me opposite theta, so opposite theta, we have the side BC. The reason why is theta looks that way. It will face the side BC. It's opposite. Opposite theta is BC. Then there's another word that you need to be aware of and be familiar with, and that word is called adjacent. So the word adjacent, adjacent means next to. So if you look at theta and I ask you, what side of the triangle is adjacent to theta? You'll say, hmm, well, theta is kind of wedged between AC and AB, which means it is next to those sides. However, we don't call the hypotenuse the adjacent. The hypotenuse, that's the hypotenuse. It's a special side. It's the side opposite the 90 degree. It's the longer side in the triangle, the hypotenuse. So therefore, the adjacent side in this triangle, the side that's next to theta, will be AB. So adjacent to theta will be AB. So in this triangle, with respect to theta, if I'm looking at theta, we've got the opposite side of theta is BC. Adjacent to theta is AB. And the hypotenuse is AC. Now, the reason I'm going on about these terms is because it's going to become very important when we look at the trig ratios. These are your basic trig ratios. Sine, cos, and tan. Okay, sine, or we write it as sin, S-I-N, sine, we say sine. Sine of an angle, theta is my angle. 
is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse side. So it's a ratio of sides. You need to understand that ratios, if I ask you for the ratio of boys to girls in a classroom and you're to tell me one to two, that is a ratio. But I can also write it like this. So ratios may be represented as fractions. That shouldn't be a new concept. So seeing these trig ratios written as fractions, that's normal. So basic trig ratios, the sine ratio, sine of theta, sine of an angle is equal to the length of the opposite side in a ratio with the hypotenuse, the length of the hypotenuse. It's opposite divided by hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan is opposite over adjacent. You need to memorize these for me. There are ways that will make it easier. So I like to use so ka toa. This just helps me remember it. So S for sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Ka cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Toa tan is opposite over adjacent. Or another really cute one that I saw is oh heck. Another hour of algebra. Another hour of algebra. That's a very cute way to remember the trig ratios. However you remember it, whatever works for you, you just need to absolutely memorize these in your mind. Then what we have is called reciprocals. You guys should be familiar with the word reciprocal. If I ask you for the reciprocal of three over four, you'll tell me that that reciprocal is four over three. So you just flip it over. So we've got three reciprocals that you do need to know. Cosec over here, that is the reciprocal of sine theta. So it is basically one over sine theta theta. And you can see that, remember, sine was opposite over hypotenuse. Cosec is hypotenuse over opposite. So you flip it around. Sec, that is the reciprocal of our trig ratio cos theta. Okay, so it's one over cos theta. So another way to write cosec is one over sine theta. They mean the same thing. Okay, so cosec is the reciprocal of sine theta. Sec is the reciprocal of cos theta. It means the same thing as 1 over cos theta. It is hypotenuse over adjacent. Remember, we flipped cos around. And cot is the reciprocal of tan theta. Okay, so the reciprocal of tan theta is cot. It's basically the same thing as 1 over tan theta. Remember, tan is opposite over adjacent. Remember? So katoa, so tan is opposite over adjacent. Kot is the other way around, adjacent over opposite. Like I said, you need to memorize these. Right, so if I ask you to look at this triangle that I give you over here, and I ask you to give me sine theta, right? So that is the ratio of the opposite side over the hypotenuse side for that given angle. That is what sine means. It is a ratio. Then we look for theta in our triangle. So over here. Because I want sine, we want, so we're going to write, I want sine theta. So I want the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse side. Now if you look at theta, which side is opposite theta? Yep, BC. So we will write BC and then hypotenuse, remember hypotenuse is always opposite the 90 degrees. So angle B is my 90 degree angle. That means opposite the 90 we have AC and that is my sine theta equals ratio, BC over AC. Now what we will do later on is we will give you lengths for BC and a length for AC and you will therefore be able to calculate the size of theta. Okay, so you'll be able to tell me, is it 30 degrees? Is it 60 degrees? Is it whatever? If we look at this triangle and we do cos theta, remember here's theta, right over here in the corner, angle O is equal to theta. If I ask you for cos theta, remember, cos, 
the ratio for cos is it is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Now let's just first look for the hypotenuse. It might be easier. Remember the hypotenuse is opposite the 90 degree. So angle M is my hypotenuse, my, 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 my 90 degree. So my hypotenuse will be opposite that 90 degree. So my hypotenuse is ON or NO. Remember, adjacent, which is now my other one that I must fill in. Adjacent means next to. So what side is next to theta? Well, it's not going to be MN because MN is opposite theta. So my adjacent side would be OM. Remember, adjacent means next to. OM, this side, OM, this one over here, this side, OM. That is next to theta. And no, it's not this side. It's not ON because that's the hypotenuse. Awesome. Let's look at one more example using tan of an angle. In this example, I'm asking you to find tan of the angle 90 minus theta. This is different to the previous questions because you can see in the previous questions, I asked you to find sine of theta and cos of theta. Now we're looking for the angle 90 minus theta. So you might be thinking, but where, where's that? Well, if you look at the triangle X, Y, Z, we can see that this angle over your angle X is called theta. Angle Y over here is 90 degrees. So if we consider angle Z over here, this angle Z is equal to 180 minus 90 minus theta. Why? Because the sum of the angles in triangle XYZ is equal to 180. Sum of angles in a triangle. So if I take 180, which is the sum of the angles, minus 90, my right angle, minus theta, my angle X, then I should, if I simplify this, I get 90 minus theta. So when we are asking for tan of the angle 90 minus theta, I'm asking it for this angle over here. This angle over here is 90 minus theta. So tan, remember, tan of 90 minus theta, think of your trig ratios, TOA, tan is opposite over adjacent. So if we look opposite this angle, the side opposite this angle is XY. Opposite the angle. Opposite angle Z is XY. And adjacent to the angle. Remember, the adjacent side is not the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is this one, the one opposite the 90. So that's not adjacent. So the adjacent angle is the one that is next to 90 minus theta, which is this one. This one over here is next to 90 minus theta. So Y, Z or Z, Y. And that's how we do that. If you like this video and you'd like to see me go over this over here, how to find sides versus angles in a right angle triangle using trig, using the trig ratios, then let me know in the comments below. Let me know what else you want to see. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more maths and science videos. Bye everyone.